What are the main challenges you have to face in the Singapore Grand Prix? Obviously, first and foremost, Singapore is, uh, is a street circuit. With all that street circuits normally entail, barriers very close to the track, uh, perhaps the track is not as smooth as, as we would like. So uh, these, this is first and foremost the challenges. When you look at the layout of the track in Singapore, uh, it requires very high downforce. It's very demanding on the brakes. Uh, so it's quite important to, to have the brakes under control, the car set up under control in terms of dealing with the, with the bumps and making sure that uh, the car's reasonably forgiving because there isn't a big margin for error when the walls are that close. Uh, do you think the curves can be a factor there? The curves gives us performance in every circuit. Uh, in terms of, of lap time gain in Singapore, it's probably a, a medium circuit. Uh, it's not a great circuit for the start for the curves. The run to the first corner is, is very short. So whilst there is still a gain from the curves, it's, it's not as big as what we've seen in the last few races. And uh, uh, is the layout of the ch circuit change uh, from last year? I think there are some small detail changes. I believe they've changed a little bit the first couple of corners to improve the safety of the pit exit. But in terms of how it affects the, the car performance and the car setup, nothing significant. In terms of uh, organization of the work of the team, uh, the night schedule, what changes in the approach of, uh, to the race? Yeah, as much as possible we try to stay on European time uh, through the week. And it's less problems with, with jet lag for everybody. And <clears throat> therefore we're running a, a very similar program to what we'd run at a European race, just all offset by five or six hours. So we're starting work uh, much later in the day. We, we don't go into the circuit in the mornings. We start work after lunch, but then we're working till, till very early in the morning uh, before we go back to the hotel, close the blinds and try and get some sleep. And what do you expect in terms of performance from the F60? Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> it'll be a difficult weekend for us. Um, the Characteristics of the circuit, I guess, are reasonably close to, to Valencia. Um, we managed a podium in Valencia, but it was difficult to fight for the lead. Um, I imagine, similar to the last few races, we, we'll be there. We'll be pushing very hard to, to get the car on the podium, uh, but probably uh, we'll need a bit of luck to, to get a win. As a racer, as you are, how much frustrating is to have the same cars or no developments uh, in, since a uh, few races and for the rest of the season compared to what the others are doing? Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating for us. Um, one of the attractions of, of this business is constant development. You know, we're used to having new things week out, week out, always, week in, week out, always improving the car. Uh, but at the moment we have to accept that uh, our priority has moved to, to next year's car and we must do everything we can to make sure that we have a competitive car next year. In terms of the work we do during the race weekend, it doesn't change a lot. Our, our job is to try and get the maximum performance out of out of what we have available and and really that's been the focus of everybody uh, these last few races just making sure that uh, we get the absolute best out of out of what we have Giancarlo Fisichella will have uh, his uh, second race in Ferrari what he, he has done in terms of preparation uh, to approach this weekend since Monza Giancarlo has been doing uh, quite a lot of work uh, he's been driving the car. We had our final aero test for the year last week, which he did for us. Uh, that really just gives him a bit more, a bit more time in the car, a bit more uh, experience with, 
with our way of working, working with our engineers, learning a bit more about the, the systems on the car, the steering wheel, all those sorts of things. So that was, it was good experience for him. He spent some time in uh, the driving simulator. He has already done uh, quite a few laps of the Singapore circuit in our simulator. Uh, so that's helped him both in preparation for Singapore itself, but also again becoming more used to, to our way of working, our car, a little bit of work on, on the setup of the car. So he arrived at Monza really at very short notice and uh, I think all the people involved with him before Monza did a great job of, of the preparation there and we've continued to do that, that work since Monza so I'm sure he will arrive in Singapore much better prepared. Kimi is the leading uh, driver of the last five races together with Barrichello in terms of points. Uh, what do you expect from him in Singapore in a street circuit, a uh, category of circuit of, in which he is known to be very good? Uh, Kimi's been doing an absolutely fantastic job for the last few races. I mean, I talked before about getting the maximum uh, performance out of what we have available, even if what we have available isn't quite where we want and, and really he's been a, an absolute perfect example of that the last few races he's really done a, a great job been very very focused got the absolute maximum out of the car and and uh, we expect that again in in Singapore and for the rest of the year <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, 